One day I responded to the call of the Lord and responded positively. It is for that reason that I am standing here, the call of salvation. Hallelujah. Let's go to the word of God and let me warn you that we are going to travel at the speed of lightning. Very fast in other words. So I would like to appeal that you fasten your seatbelt. Hallelujah. And you also bring your Bible and your notebook if you have got one very close to you so that you won't get lost. When is your yeah. And being in God. 
One of them is the fact that, or perhaps before I say that, some of them are based on scripture, but then they go beyond. There is, in other words, an exaggeration of what the text or the word means. Hallelujah. And I must say that I've observed over time that it's possible that someone can make an honest mistake while interpreting scripture. Are you with me? It's possible. I've seen that. I've seen it even from my my favorite preachers. Are you with me? I've seen it. It's possible. And I must say that uh, I am human as well, which means that there is a possibility, not to mean that I intend to. Are you with me? No, I do not. I try my level best, and I try my level best daily whenever I stand in front of people to ensure that I do justice to them and to the scriptures. Are you with me? Are we together? Pastor, today you seem to be starting on a negative note. No, I am not. Hallelujah. But I am bringing you on board so that you can understand where I am coming from. And be able to follow. Now, let's start from Job, chapter number 3, verse 25. Job, the book of Job is a very interesting book. The writer of it is definitely not Job. Not so sure who it is. Some scholars say it's Moses. But we are not there. Job 3, verse 25. Job 3, verse 25. What I feared has come upon me. What I dreaded has happened to me. Hallelujah. Now, one of the things that we find when it comes to the issue of Job is that Job was an upright man. Are you with me? And he's a man that is described as somebody that feared God and someone that shunned evil or hated evil or rejected evil. Are you with me? That's Job. You find that in chapter number one of Job. Now, to the extent that we are told that whenever his children will be celebrating having feast parties, Job will perform his duties as a man of his house because one of the duties of men that God has assigned them over their houses or families is to be a priest. Are you with me? And a prophet. A priest, they stand before God on behalf of their families. A prophet, they stand before their families on behalf of God. Are you with me? That's why when God wanted to establish a nation for himself, he called Abraham and trusted Abraham with that mission. Are you with me? Abraham had a family, had Sarai, his wife. But you don't find even on a single day God coming and speaking to Sarai. But 
God knew that through Sarai and Abraham, he was going to make a nation out of them. Are you with me? But whenever God came, he spoke to Abraham. Even on the day when he came to tell Abraham that Sarai is going to conceive, he didn't go to Sarai. Are you with me? He didn't go to Sarai. He came to Abraham. Now, Job performed his duties as a priest. What is it that he did? He said, after they finish their parties, that perhaps my children might have uh, done something that is wrong before the Lord. And as a result, he will make offerings on their behalf as a priest. What is the duty of a priest? It was, going, it was to go before God and offer sacrifices for their sins. It is the same thing that Job was doing for his family. Are you with me? Not necessarily interested in talking about priest, but I'm talking about Job. What is it that he was doing? For his family. Now, in verse number six of chapter number one, we are told that now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. Are you with me? The sons of God came to present themselves before God, and Satan also came among them. A fallen son of God. Hallelujah. They came to give an account before the Lord. Because now he was no longer amongst them as a son. That's why we are given a specific information about him. Now, please read verse number seven. Quickly. Job chapter number one. Oh my goodness. The Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord. From roaming throughout the earth, going to and fro and fro on it. Eight. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. Now this is God speaking to Satan. First of all, he asked him, Man, where have you been? Are you with me? And then the devil responds respond to God and says, I've been moving up and down from the earth. And then God says, Okay, while you are moving up and down, did you notice my seventh job? There is none like him. Are you with me? There is none like, like him. He is one man who is perfect and upright. He is somebody that fears me and is also one person that shuns evil. That's God. Are you with me? Talking about Job. There is no one like him on earth. Basically. And then the devil answered and said to Job, I mean to God, uh, actually, Job doesn't fear you. That's verse number nine. Verse number 10, read. My readers, please. Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and heads are spread throughout the land. Hallelujah. Now, in other words, the devil is saying the reason. Job, can you please adjust, brother, please? I am trying my best. Hallelujah. The microphone. The devil is saying to God, Job isn't fearing you for nothing. It's because you have protected him. It's because you have given him all good things. There is a hedge around him. And that's the reason why Job does what he is doing. Or to get, that's what the devil is saying actually to God that no, 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 it's not because this man is an upright man, but it's because we have protected him about his house about all that he has everything, we have protected him we have blessed the works of his hands his substance has increased in the land that's why Job is the way he is 
Now, when you hear the people that are pushing the doctrine, especially from verse 3, 25 of Job, they say that what happened to Job is as a result of Job. Because Job thought and Job in himself, he was conceived with fear. That's why I started with Job 3.25, where the word of God said that. What I feared so much has finally came to me. Are you with me? So now they say that all this happened because Job had negative thoughts. Are you with me? Remember, midweek, I said to you, as much as the word of God tells us that life and death is in the power of the tongue, are you with me? There are certain things, my brother, my sister, you can sit from morning to sunset, speak positive, are you with me? If God has decided that this is going to happen, it is not going to happen. You can stop eating, fast, pray, do whatsoever you can do, it is not going to happen. Are you with me? All that we can be able to do, it can only happen as far as it is permitted by God. There is no amount of faith that can move God to do something that is against his will. That is why in the book of 2 Samuel 12, we read about David who fasted seven days for the child that he had after committing adultery with Uriah's wife. The child died. Why? Because God had said that the child would die. Are you with me? Now they say that Job suffered all this because of the negative thoughts that he had. And he also said himself, that which I feared had come over me. In other words, Job wasn't saying that because it is raining today, it is always going to rain. Are you with me? He was aware that at any point in time, I may lose all these things. Now, what befell Job was not because of his thoughts, imaginations. Are you with me? But it occurred to him because there was a bet between God and the devil. God boasted before the devil and said, I know Job, there is no one like him. He is so righteous. He is faithful. He loves me. He is committed to me. Are you with me? The devil was like, uh uh. And in other words, actually, the devil is telling us that he might have tried to touch Job. Are you with me? In fact, because he's saying, verse number 10, read verse number 10. Quickly. Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands, so that his flocks and heads are spread throughout the land. Hallelujah. Now, the devil is saying, have you not put a hedge around him, around his house and all that? Yes. In other words, the devil might have tried to attack Job, but he could not. That's how perhaps he discovered that there is a hedge around Job. Read 11. But now stretch out your hand and strike everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. 12. The Lord said to Satan, Very well then, everything he has is in your power, but on the name on the man himself do not lay a finger. Then the Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now in verse number 11, the devil said, uh -uh, Can you just remove? The hedge that is around Job. Are you with me? And God, 
Because he knew Job and trusted Job. Are you with me? He trusted Job. I do not know. Hallelujah. What is it that the, the, the Lord our God is going to say? I know you. And say to the devil, can go and touch him. Or him. Are you with me? Because God trusts us. And he say, it's okay, go and touch him. Go and touch whatsoever you want about his love. In other words, God removed the hedge around Job. You know one of the things that you are taught? A time when we preach. And I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. 
Thank you. Now, where we are heading, we see that it was disaster after disaster. Calamity after calamity. Are you with me? Are you with me? But still, God was with Job. And God allowed it to happen. Because there is nothing that the devil can do unto you as a child of God unless he is permitted by God. Or you have opened a way for him by committing sin. Do it. Either God permits him without you committing any sin. Or it's you, you open a way for the devil to touch or attack you by committing sin. Are you with me? In this instance with Job, all these calamities, by the way, they say that Job in his country of Uz, he was doing what our government was doing. He was very wealthy to the extent that he was even feeding the poor and the widows of that land of Uz. Are you with me? That's why even where we are reading now, we are told about camels, cactus, and whatsoever things that he had. Because he had so much wealth. God had blessed. Even the devil said that it's because we have blessed him. And he has all things that have increased in the entire land of Uz. Are you with me? Now Job lost all that. Now let's hear what is it that Job did after all these reports. Verse number 20 and 21. At this Job go Job got up and saw his robe and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground in worship and said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall depart. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. 22 as well. In all this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. Hallelujah. The first thing we hear is that the man rose up and fell down on the ground in worship. Are you with me? I wonder how many of us would have done that. I wonder how many of us could do that. Maybe some of us could have seen the devil. It's the devil. There is no one from that against me that shall prosper.